Howdy my totally tubular gamers and we are back for another ranking video. Now today's ranking video is going to be on Gears of War. The Gears of War series is one of the most storied series under Microsoft's umbrella. If you somehow don't know the Gears of War series, it is a series of cover based third person shooters that sees a number of different people getting together to fight these humanoid mutated monsters known as the Locust or the Swarm. The games are known for their incredible stop and pop cover based shooting, their cheesy storylines, and excellent multiplayer. And over the years there's been a number of different games. There has been seven Gears of War games released for the consoles, the original trilogy by Epic Games, and then the later Gears of War games, or now known as just Gears, released by The Coalition, a internal Microsoft studio. Gears of War is really a series that I have just found myself coming back to every couple years and it's inevitable that I will just come back to it. And with that in mind, I've actually played all of these games. And so I thought it would be fun if we had all these games ranked. Yeah, let's have them all face off. What's the best Gears? What's the worst Gears? And I know in the future there's obviously going to be a Gear 6, so this list will be outdated one day, but let's just say Gear 6 is going to be the best one, right? That's not going to age poorly, right? We're going to be ranking these games based off its excellent gameplay, what it did for the franchise, how I feel about the story and campaign in general, and if I have any fond memories with the multiplayer. With a series as storied as Gears of War, this is going to be a very subjective list. This is just what I feel based off of my memories and experiences with these games. If you disagree, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what your favorite Gears are. And of course, if you don't like it, you can just dislike the video, but make sure to sub, share, comment, all that stuff. Everybody should always do that. Anyway, with that in mind, let's just get right to it. What do I think is the worst of the Gears of War games? I think the worst of the Gears of War games is Gears of War Judgment. Developed primarily by People Can Fly in addition to Epic Games, while I don't think Gears of War Judgment is a bad game, I think it is a very mediocre game and easily the worst of the Gears series. The game is actually a prequel to the first Gears, and it sees Baird and Cole on trial for war crimes, and they basically have to explain uh, their side of the story, and you're just reliving flashbacks, essentially. The story, I thought, was incredibly weak. It didn't add anything to the Gears universe, or really anything. You could just skip this game, and you wouldn't get anything from it. It was very generic, and it was very by the numbers, and ultimately, it was just incredibly forgettable. That's really the best way to describe Gears Judgment, is just forgettable. It's a very generic third-person shooter that has the Gears gameplay, but it fails to innovate in any sense, and it, again, just feels like another Gears game rather than something new and fresh. The shooting, the taking cover, the executions, it's all fine, it just doesn't do anything beyond that. It's just serviceable and is just a really bog-standard Gears experience. When it comes to the campaign, all of the missions are incredibly short and the game introduces this like ranking system. You get ranked at the end of each mission depending on your headshots, your executions, etc. And I don't particularly like this system, I don't think this kind of system really fits Gears of War all that much, but I mean it is here. When it comes to the multiplayer, I have basically no memories of this game as I remember when the game came out, none of my friends wanted to play this game at all. We wanted to go back to Gears 3 and just have a much better time there. For some reason, almost all the game modes don't feature Locust, only one, the new game mode Overrun features Locust, it's just COG versus COG, which I'm not a fan of. When it comes to Gears Judgment, it's like the game exists, it's there, you can go play it if you want, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I think every other Gears of War game is better, but I don't think this is a bad game, it's just a very average, standard, third-person shooter that exists, and that's really all I can say for it. And the next game on the list is Gears of War 4, the first Gears game on the Xbox One and the first Gears game developed by the Coalition. I played Gears 4 back when it came out and I remember a lot of people questioning Gears 4's existence. Did it need to exist? And well, this game didn't exactly prove the doubters wrong. While Gears 4 is a solid entry in the series, I don't think it reaches the highs of the previous Gears games for a number of different reasons. My biggest problem with Gears 4 is definitely the story and just the general setup of the entire game. Taking place in many, many years after Gears 3, it sees the Locust dead and the Cog reforming and just kind of putting the world into martial law. Some people don't agree with this and there's like little civil wars that go on. Then eventually a new monster group known as the Swarm pop up. 
The game's story takes a much slower approach to try to build up its characters and the world, and I think that this does not work for Gears at all. I think the original game had it right where they just threw you right into the action. This game really tries to build up the swarm as a credible threat, and also has you fighting the cog for way too much time. The main character of the game is J.D. Phoenix, Marcus Phoenix's son, and I don't like him at all. He's generic, he's bog standard, he's the definition of just cookie cutter protagonist where it's just, oh look, a white dude with a famous voice actor, like that doesn't make a good protagonist. Honestly, it just makes it worse. Like this dude is just so cookie cutter boring. The other characters, honestly, I don't really have anything to say about them. And I thought the pacing of the game was very slow when compared to the other Gears games and it really dragged the campaign down as a whole. I couldn't even get my friends to finish the campaign as they kind of gave up in the first two or three hours because they thought it was just really boring fighting the cog. And you know what, I kind of agree with them. Sure, the game looks great and it plays great. But compared to the other Gears games, I just don't think it has that oomph, that real push that makes you want to blast through this campaign and have a great time. I just didn't have as much fun with this game as I did with the other Gears games. Sure, it just could be series fatigue at this point, but this game really did not add all that much to the Gears series, and what it did add was very minor in the grand scheme of things. And the multiplayer, I have almost nothing to comment on, is... This game I pretty much dropped like immediately after playing. I just felt no inclination to play the multiplayer very much. I can't really recommend Gears 4 as a whole. I mean, it is a fine game, but there's very little reason to play it nowadays. Now, the next game on our list is an interesting one. This is Gears Tactics, which is actually the latest in the Gears series. And this game is very different from all the other Gears games. Also developed by the Coalition, Gears Tactics is actually a turn-based strategy game in the vein of XCOM. Now, I really like XCOM Enemy Unknown, I thought that was a fantastic game, and one day I want to rank the XCOM games, and Gears Tactics, what it really did was, it just took the XCOM formula and put it with Gears of War. It is a prequel to the original Gears, so the locusts are here, which is awesome. The story, for what it was, it was pretty alright, it was that usual cheesy Gears story, but I still enjoyed it. Really, if you've played XCOM Enemy Unknown, this game will be very familiar to you. It does add some nice Gears of War touches like the executions and the other grenades and things of that nature, so there is that Gears flavor. You can customize your units pretty well in this game, there's a lot of different options you get. And then there's even side missions to do in the game as well. There's five classes that you can put on your units, and just like XCOM, when one of your units dies, they're dead. Like, that's it. They're permanently dead which always raises the stakes. I think Gears Tactics is a really solid turn-based tactics game, and I think it's honestly become underrated over the last year or so, as I didn't really see anybody talking about this game, it just kind of came out. And I think that's a shame, because I think it is, a, again, a solid turn-based tactics game, and it is on the Game Pass, so it's only a dollar. And while it doesn't stand up to some of the great Gears of War games, it is a very different kind of game. And I think people that might not even like Gears of War should try this game. It's something different. The next game on the list is Gears 5, the latest in the main series, also developed by The Coalition. I think with Gears 5, The Coalition really looked at some of the weaker points of Gears 4 and made a point to actually improve them. And I think that Gears 5 actually really does improve on Gears 4 and is a very solid entry into the series. JD Phoenix is no longer the main character. It is now about Kat and her struggles with the Swarm. She is a lot better and a lot more interesting, and just her entire dynamic going on with the Swarm is way better than anything Gears 4 had. The story is actually pretty alright to good. I think the Swarm are actually mildly interesting in this game. The pacing is pretty nice, and I think that the actions really kicked up a notch in this game, which only does it favors. We want it less about the humans fighting, and more about the humans fighting the monsters, whether it's the Locust or the Swarm or some mix of them. The biggest change to the campaign, and definitely the most positive aspect of the campaign, is that they really try to evolve the series and mix it up and add some new elements. Gears 4 really failed to innovate, and it felt exactly the same as the last couple Gears games, and I was like, this is a new console, it feels the same as the 360 game. Gears 5 does not feel like this. They actually added a bunch of new things to the campaign, like these open worlds. Yes, there's actually open worlds in Gears 5's campaign. You go around on this skiff, and you go around this big open area, and you can even do side quests and find collectibles in these open areas. This is a nice touch. There's stealth segments now. You can actually be stealthy, which is pretty cool. They've added a ton of new weapons that feel very different from the other weapons of the series. 
I had a really nice time with the campaign. It reminded me why I love Gears of War in the first place. And then there was the DLC campaign known as Hive Busters. I played through this as well, and I was a lot more mixed on this. It takes place on this secluded island and sees these three ragtag people get together to just kind of kill the swarm. And this I could really do without. I mean, it doesn't really add anything to Gears, and it didn't really have all that many interesting set pieces, and it just kind of felt it like it was there. The multiplayer seems to be a real return to form for Gears of War, featuring a lot of classic game modes and some new ones as well. I don't have many memories with this multiplayer mode, but hopefully in the future maybe I can create some. Either way, I like Gears 5 actually quite a bit. It is a very solid entry in the franchise. They really improved on Gears 4, and I think with Gears 6, if they can really improve on Gears 5, we might have a really, really great Gears game on our hands. I still think Gears 5 is a good game, though. In the number 3 spot, we have Gears of War 2, released by Epic Games and Microsoft back in 2008. Gears 2 takes place a little after the first game and sees Marcus Phoenix and his band of brothers fighting the Locusts off still, and the story, you know what, it was simple to understand, it got right to the action, and I loved it. It's still cheesy as hell, don't get me wrong, but it was a good time. And while I don't think that the game has the same vibe and atmosphere as the original game, I still think what it has going on is pretty well done. And the game is very just black and gray, but despite its black and grayness, the game looked great back in 2008, and it even looks pretty good nowadays. The attention to detail was really awesome in this game, and it was really quite impressive when it came out. For instance, when you would shoot cover, like bits and pieces of that cover would fly off. When you'd blow someone up, you'd see tons of body parts go flying. It was really cool. The gameplay was really just a refinement of the original Gears gameplay, and it feels a lot better, it's a lot snappier, it's a lot more visceral, and it's just a lot more gory than the original game. The game's campaign had a lot of really cool set pieces as well, like this one level where it's basically raining broken glass, and if you're not under a roof at all times, you will just die instantly. The campaign has a decent length, and then the multiplayer was also a great time, especially back in the day, it was really a good time. The multiplayer had all the old game modes and had some new ones in there as well. In addition, it added Horde Mode. This was the first Gears with Horde Mode, and while I don't think Horde Mode is astounding in this game, I still had a decent enough time with it. Gears 2 really is just an improvement on the original Gears in terms of gameplay, and while there are a few scenes I could do without, like anything to do with Maria in Gears 2, I still quite like the game. It's a very solid third-person shooter, and I have no problem recommending it. And in the number 2 spot we have the original Gears of War, particularly the Ultimate Edition. Now if it was just the original Gears of War, I would say Gears 2 would be higher as Gears 2 has better gameplay. However, this Ultimate Edition really improves and just remasters the original Gears to put it just a little bit higher in my opinion. Something that the other Gears games have never been able to replicate is the first game's atmosphere. I think the atmosphere and world of Gears 1 is very different from the other Gears games, and it's really something special here. Obviously, this was the game that started the entire franchise, and it was the one that kicked things off with Marcus Phoenix and getting together with his new band of brothers to fight these creatures known as the Locust in their war. And when it comes to the story, it's easily the most simplistic story of the entire Gears series, but you know, Simplicity sometimes is for the better, and I really liked how they kept things understandable. They didn't try to have this wide scope or create this universe. No, it was just about these military dudes fighting these creatures, and that's all it needed to be about, and I think that simplicity works in its favor. The dark and brooding atmosphere, the way the locusts are portrayed, and the way that the main antagonist General Rom is portrayed is just really well done in my opinion, and it has never even been close to replicated in any of the other games. The game has arguably the best set pieces in the entire series as well, like this one area where it's pretty dark and you're going around in this big military vehicle and if you go into any of the pitch black areas, you just get completely annihilated and killed by these bats. That will always be very memorable. Or when you're fighting General Ram at the end of the game on the train. Very memorable stuff. And the gameplay really has an age today, especially if you play the Ultimate Edition, it feels just as great now as it did over 10 years ago, which is really impressive. The game stands up very well, especially compared to the other Gears games. 
The formula they created in this game was gold, and it absolutely holds up nowadays. The gunplay is very snappy, going into cover and shooting the locusts. It's very visceral, it's gory, it's violent. There's a nice impact that you have with the weapons. All the weapons feel great, they were all original. The executions were always a highlight, and then just the fact that you have a chainsaw machine gun, like, come on, how much cooler does it get than that? And the multiplayer was a real highlight as well. It wasn't even the focal point of the original game, but it had very solid multiplayer in the Ultimate Edition, makes the game 60 FPS, it runs really, really well, and I really just have always had a great time with the multiplayer. And could it be argued that Gears 2 did what Gears 1 did, but even better? Sure. But Gears 1, I got a little bit more nostalgia for, and I like the game a bit more. They're both great games, and I think Gears of War 1 is a game that everybody who plays video games should try at least once before they die, because Gears 1 really did something special that the other Gears games just were not able to replicate. But I don't think it's the best Gears of War game. I think the best of the Gears of War games is Gears of War 3, released on the 360 by Epic Games back in 2011. I think Gears of War 3 perfectly captures the Gears formula and is one of the best third person shooters just ever created. Really they just took the elements of Gears 1 and 2 that were great and just blew it up to make the most refined Gears experience. I just think it's the series peak when it comes to every aspect of the gameplay. Taking cover, shooting the locusts, I don't think it's ever gotten any better than this. The weapon roster, amazing. How snappy the gunplay is, awesome. The gore, incredible. Everything was just great. The campaign is very solid. While it's not my favorite campaign, that will always be the first game, I still think it's really good. It's, it's actually long. The pacing is very well done. There's a lot of variety in the missions, and the set pieces, awesome. Might be the best set pieces in the whole series. But for me, the thing that puts this game over the other games was the multiplayer. I have had more fun in Gears 3 multiplayer than any other multiplayer probably on the Xbox 360, and certainly of all the Gears games. I think the multiplayer was easily the most refined of all the Gears games. It has the best game modes, it has the best maps, and I remember I was coming back to this game for years, like Gears Judgment had come out. I'm not playing that, I'm playing Gears 3 multiplayer. This multiplayer is awesome. The game has a much better horde mode than Gears 2. I really love the horde mode of this game. And then it introduced a versus style mode where one side was the cog setting traps and the other side got to play as the locust. You actually got to play as the locust and some of the really awesome creatures that they have and you just fought each other. And Oh, I had so much fun with this game. So many good memories. And then on top of all of this, this game has one of my favorite DLCs to any game and that is Ram Shadow, a prequel to the original Gears of War where you actually get to play as General Ram and you get to go around annihilating everyone. Like Ram has always been like one of my favorite characters in the series. So to have this DLC that's all about him, awesome. The game looked amazing, it played amazing and I have just had so much fun with this game over the years and I just don't think any Gears game could really ever touch Gears 3. I mean, they could try, I mean, they could absolutely try, but do I think any of them will ever be as good as Gears 3? Probably not, and I'm definitely not going to have the same memories with any other Gears game that I have with Gears of War 3. So does nostalgia play a big part in Gears 3? Yeah, it does, but I mean, What's your favorite Gears of War? Like, is it not Gears 3? And if it's not, why isn't it? I'd really love to know. But anyway, that's really the end of this list. So I hope you guys enjoyed my listing of the Gears games. I really have always liked Gears of War. If you haven't told me what your favorite is, I don't know what you're waiting on. You're going to tell me. Otherwise, we're going to have some problems. Now, um, I'd love if you could sub and comment and like and share. I even got a Patreon, but I don't really post on there. But... Anyway, you people have a wonderful day. See ya!